What is going on lads and welcome to a squad builder where I'm going to be building the future England team. Now we are not talking the future England team as in next year for the Rio World Cup. We are talking the World Cup afterwards. So this is going to be in five years and the players that I think are going to be playing in the England squad. It's a pretty decent team and it looks really good. It's going to cost you not too much but it is sub 100k but it is reasonably expensive. So if you want to go and pick yourself some up coins up there is a link to the game keys down in the description. If you use the code AJ3 you'll get yourself 5% off which makes coins £9.50 per 100k which is absolutely mental and I would advise going and picking them up before next gen comes out and they get all bought out basically so they've got none left because that is insanely cheap and of course they will transfer over to next gen if you are going over there. So before we get into this team, I just want to say this was help designed for me by you guys on Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter, you guys can have the input into who these players should be. Who you think the best young England players. And if you want me to carry this series on, maybe who the best Brazilians and the best Spanish players and stuff like that. So if you don't agree with me, don't go disliking the video. You can leave a comment down in the description, maybe who you think should have been in. But make sure you go over and follow me on Twitter. And next time I make one of these teams, you guys can make sure I get the right players in them. But let's get on. And get into this video and basically if you're wondering where i've been if this is the first video you've seen from me for a while i did do one on saturday explaining where i've been so i'll leave a link to that in the description but i'm not going to get into it too much but just if you do enjoy this video i'd really appreciate a like as i am now getting back into youtube so let's get on and put in the first of our players we're going to put in the main squad first and then we will have a little look at the bench at the end and in goal we have got joe hart 26 years old you might think he's getting on a little bit by the time the next world cup comes around after rio he will be about 31 then obviously he just had five on 226 so he is not too bad it's not too bad for a goalkeeper you could argue that maybe the younger goalkeepers such as Butland are going to come through especially if Hart's form at the moment hasn't been too amazing so you never know what's going to go happen there but if he keeps up and keeps improving as he is only still young for a goalkeeper then you would imagine that he will still be the England's number one goalie in five years time Moving to centre-back, the first one we've got is actually a right-back on FIFA. There's a lot of arguments about this, about whether he should be a right-back, whether he should be a centre-back, whether he should even be a CDM as he was playing at times last year. And then is of course, Phil Jones. Nice and young, only 21, 78 rated, so he's a goal player. Playing quite regularly for Man United as well at that age is extremely good. So he's a solid player and he is, of course, probably going to be one of the mainstays in the England team in a few years to come. He will be 26 at the following World Cup. I'm not too sure what World Cup that is. I think it might be in... I think it's in Russia actually, so they've got the Winter Olympics and there's a bit of a controversy about that and I think they got the World Cup as well, so that is where that is going to be going on and if we move on to our next centre back, we're actually going to be having a silver player. We've got Stephen Corker who did move on to Cardiff, I was a bit surprised that he didn't just wait and pick up the starting role for Spurs which is probably have a much bigger chance of getting into the England team with that. He has played one game and he did play at under 19s and under 21 levels, so not too bad. He's a year older than Jones, so he is 22, and he's not quite as highly rated. So if you want to go on FIFA ratings, you could say that Jones is ahead of him when it comes to getting into the England squad. But I think they've both got a very good chance, and he was one of the very recommended players when I was asking for who should be the England centre-backs, or who is going to be the England centre-backs in five years from what we can tell now. If we move over to right-back, you will have seen him before when I popped in onto right-back to get Jones. And it is Kyle Walker. He's playing four spares, who are doing absolutely awesome this season. He is 22 He's 23, sorry, which is, again, very young. He's going to be about 28, which is getting into your prime. Leighton Baines now is like 29, 30, and he's playing absolutely insane. So 28 for Kyle Walker. He's already playing brilliantly. So imagine him in a couple of years when he's got a bit more experience, and maybe Spurs will even be challenging for that title. If you move over to left back, speaking of Baines, there he is. We have got Luke Shaw, who is extremely young. He's only 18. He's only 70 rated, but at 18 and playing regularly in the Premiership, you've got to have something going for you. Crack and player, and one of the most highly regarded young players of this generation for England. He is getting pushing into the under 21s, or he's playing for the under 21s. I think I'm not too sure if he is pushing into the main squad, but he is playing regularly in the Premiership and he is highly, highly regarded. If we move into centre midfield now, we have got Jack Wilshire. How this guy is only 21 absolutely blows my mind. He's been around for ages, but he is only 21. And he's an absolute catalyst in that midfield. He's so good. He hasn't been playing as regularly as you would think for Arsenal. Arsenal pushing it at the top of the table there. And he hasn't been playing every game. But he has been coming on as far as I've seen when I've been watching the Arsenal matches as a substitute. So he's been playing at least every game, but not always starting. And he is an absolutely godly player. And you have got to remember that, of course, he is only 21. So he is still only learning. And especially in that midfield when we've got the likes of Jerry and stuff like that for England still playing absolutely incredible he will probably have to wait his turn but it is going to come and he is probably going to be the future England captain that is why I will put my money on to be captain anyway absolutely incredible player and even when he comes on you can see the difference he makes for Arsenal which is just absolutely crazy if we move over to the other CDM, we are going to have Jordan Henderson, who put him in here surprised myself a little bit. I was slating Jordan Henderson all of last year, but when I've watched Liverpool play this year, he's actually been playing some pretty decent football. So, I've put him in. He is only really, really young as well. 
just coming into his early 20s the guy is he is only 23 so in five years time he's going to be 28 and perfect age to be a midfielder coming into your prime for the next world cup and fingers crossed for the lad that he can get in as i have been pretty impressed with him recently after sleeting the guy so we're going to just move on from him and put in a really hot young talent i suppose you could say he is very technically gifted whether you could say he's got the brain for football and stuff like that i'm not too sure he is only 21 and when you see him play he just tries to do all sorts of crazy tricks and stuff like that which don't often work he's a silver but he's playing for man united which is always going to give you a boost when you're getting into the england team so there he is that is wilfried zahar probably going to be our right winger or maybe this guy over the other side we've got him on left mid but he's also a right mid on fifa and he absolutely loves to cut in onto that left foot of his and that is andros townsend only just breaking through really very recently i hadn't really heard too much of him before this season and he is 22 but he's been absolutely incredible he's got himself an inform his shots he is very greedy and shoots all the time but his shots are absolute rockets he's a really really good player and like i said 22 again going to be coming into his prime in the next world cup Centre attacker mid is one of the players from the team that I support. Someone that I absolutely love as a player and that is Ross Barkley. He is stupid as fuck in real life. Absolutely ridiculous but his football and brain is absolutely brilliant. Picks the passes that no one else can see. He's really good at controlling the ball and his attacking. The way he just runs at people and gets forwards is absolutely incredible. The guy is only 19. I am 20 sorry but he plays like a 19 year old if you get what I mean he's got the development of a 19 year old so the guy broke his leg when he was like 17 so he's a year behind in his development is what I mean so although he is only a year younger than Wilshire he's not quite as good as Wilshire and he is, but he will be getting there and he's about two years behind in his development so hopefully in two years he will be at the caliber of Wilshire and he's going to rock in it in the center attack and mid role for England up front we have got arguably one of the best strikers or he is part of the best striker partnership in the premiership at the moment along with Luis Suarez and that is Daniel Sturridge absolutely incredible basically scoring every single game this season really really good Chelsea and I think City did he used to play for have let one go with this guy he's absolutely brilliant the way he, he used to play on the wing I think and then Hodgins brought him in I think it was Hodgson who brought him in don't quote me on that and then he's playing up striker and he's doing absolutely wonders for them incredible when Suarez wasn't playing this guy was the one scoring all the goals and he is only 24 so 29 getting on a little bit close to the edge of the end of where you can play when you are a striker you don't know if he'll still have that 90 pace but he can dream and he is going to be an absolutely awesome player for years to come to move down onto the bench now we have got his England and Liverpool teammate and that is Raheem Sterling little bit of an attitude on this kid he is of course only 19 so you've got to forgive him a little bit it's weird talking about these players when they're actually younger than me that they're playing for england and earn hundreds of thousands a week which is just absolutely crazy but there he is we've got that goalkeeper that we talked about before butland who could possibly take over hard spot we've got klein who was heavily recommended i've never really seen too much of him and of course wisdom again was another one like that again not really seen too much of him glenn johnson who was actually between him and walker for the england right back at the moment get to the game ahead of him at liverpool we have got nick powell who was another one of the massively hot talents of the current generation basically he's only 19 i think he's on loan to begin because he does play for man united doesn't he and he's absolutely incredible the goals that he scored for crew alexander last year and he got them in forms on fifa which were awesome were absolutely crazy We've got Danny Welbeck, who, although pretty shit for a club, does manage to score quite a lot of goals for England, so you can't count him out. And then over at this one, we've got a bit of a funny one. Whether this guy is actually going to pick England, we don't know. And whether he'll actually get a game, we don't know. Depends how good he turns out. But he is really, really young. He is coming in at only 18, and he is potentially going to play for Belgium. He could play for England, so we have to see who he chooses. But I'll prefer to pop him in for there just for a little bit of trivia but that is the team lads i hope you have enjoyed this video and let me know if you agree with me like i said i really appreciate it if you drop a like pop it down in the comments if you think anyone else should be in or you disagree with anything and if you do disagree make sure you go and follow me on twitter so that you can get involved and make sure to get the right players next time but that is going to be the video if you've got anything else that you would like me to do maybe you want me to do brazil or anything like that again just pop it all down in the comments but i hope you have enjoyed it make sure you subscribe if you are new thanks for watching lads and i will see you next time